So what's a typical day like in the life of a networker? Well, there isn't one. Every day is different. All right, let's say you're working full time. So how do you manage all of this? You're full time, you have two or three children, uh, your spouse, and it's just, you, you know, you don't know how you're gonna fit in another hour, but people do it. We have so many distributors that have promoted to Diamond and above working full time. I just interviewed someone last night who's a triple diamond, just got the big good bonus, and she's a full time teacher and a mom of a two year old. And you can do it if she can do it. And what she did was she made sure that she wrapped eight people a month. That was her goal. She bought two boxes of wraps every single month and she made sure that she wrapped eight people a month and then she duplicated that. See, if you're spending, let's say, an hour a day on your business, just an hour, and maybe it's your lunch hour or 30 minutes before work or 30 minutes after work, and again, every day could be different. One day it could be a wrap party, but let's say you're spending one hour a day focused energy into your business and you start recruiting team members. Let's say you have five team members who also do the same thing. They each spend an hour a day on their business. Well, you've suddenly got six hours a day in your business and only one of them you're held accountable for. The others are doing the same thing. That's a lot going on in your business. So that's what I loved about this industry. That's what I loved about network marketing. Because when I first started, I had a very busy life. Uh, I'm a stay-at-home mom, two very active children, husband gone every night of the week, just left on Monday, came back on Friday. So I had to fit it all in. I was very active at school, very active at church. So a lot was going on in my mind and I had to find time to do this business. So let's talk about that. Let's say that you're a stay-at-home mom. Uh, you're, you, you know, your children get up in the morning. You help them get, get off to school like I did. The first thing that I would do is want to drink my cup of coffee. That was a perfect day for me to get that started. I would make sure I got my workout in in the morning because if I didn't get it in in the morning, I knew I wouldn't get it done. It's very important that you take care of yourself. Very, very important that you do that. And then I'd come back and I'd, you know, get showered up, do whatever I needed to do. And I, every day was different, but most days I had active appointments until they came home from school. And then once they got off that bus, we would be headed right into homework, right into snacks, and then they'd go play. I might squeeze another call or two in. This is before Facebook. This was before the internet, so it's a little bit different now. You've got more tools that you can use. And then head into dinner. I turned the phone off, made sure we had a great dinner together, and then obviously there's bath time, and there was Dave time after that. And then I could uh, most every night I got back on the phone, 9, 9.30, I would work the time zone. So it's just how bad do you want it? You know, I just wanted it. I wanted network marketing to work for me. Therefore, I worked network marketing. And it's it was just a powerful goal of mine. I hope that it is one of yours. Once you get on board with it, you will find the time. And one of the things that I did, and I don't look at it as, at all as a sacrifice, is I just cut the TV off. You know, just you're wasting so much time on television. You're wasting so much time on Facebook. You're wasting so much time just checking your phone to see if anybody's contacted you. Get on Facebook, do a post in the morning, Check it again later that afternoon. Answer whatever inboxes you have and get off. Quit scrolling through there wondering if somebody's looked at something or what somebody else is doing when you could be actively making phone calls. You know, we've lost the power of using the telephone and we need to pick the phone up and call people. It's so powerful if you just call and say, you know, I've been thinking about you. I, I, you've watched a couple of my, of my posts. I really would love to talk to you about this opportunity. I'd really love to talk to you about trying the products. Whatever you feel led to do with them, but pick up the phone, make some phone calls, get off Facebook, don't be on there all day, and build your business within the time frames that you have. You know, as a mom, 
a lot of us, we feel guilty when we're not working. We feel guilty when we're working and I can't help you with that. And I don't believe that that word balance really works out either. I just know that I wanted it. I was willing to sacrifice some things such as television, maybe a, a night out with, uh, with the hubby. We, we did less of that. I worked my business more, but the future is just brilliant because of it. And it's extremely bright in what we're headed into. So it's worth it.